So let's take a look at the Louisiana Derby. I think this was a hell of a race, and I think it answered a lot of questions for us going into the Kentucky Derby for sure. And uh, we haven't had a lot answered, and this is finally a race that, that uh, I think uh, was, de was definitive. So you see the break was pretty good. Antiquarian uh, broke through the gate to start and uh, didn't seem to affect him too much. Uh, got up near the leaders where we expected, and there's Track Phantom doing what he does and going right to the lead. Uh, got some significant pressure from Common Defense all the way around the track, who uh, thought ran a pretty good race. Uh, but... Uh, you know, when the fractions are, well, I would say they were a little, little more, a little faster than soft, maybe moderate, let's call it. Um, and it really didn't have much in the tank late, so that was a little disappointing. But you see Tuscan Gold uh, a little more forwardly placed, which uh, we thought might be possible. And uh, he ran a good race. Uh, for To move from the Maidens into uh, graded stakes at a mile and three sixteenths, I think he showed a lot of, uh, a lot of potential there. And uh, whether it's enough for the Derby, I don't know. Uh, Hall of Fame saving all the ground, really no excuses whatsoever. Uh, or Real Men Violin, for that matter. Uh, he didn't show up at all, and he's a you know, classic Kenny McPeak, uh, you know, from one race to the next, you never know. But you see Catching Freedom at the back, and uh, you'd really have to give him a lot of points for uh, closing into moderate fractions all the way from the rear. And you see Anna Marie's getting going too late. And it's kind of like the Derby last year. You know, you had two following each other around that wide, uh, taking the wide route. So you catch it freedom, probably ran a mile and a quarter in this race. So did Anna Marie. You see Track Phantom doing what he does, but uh, he finally got, uh, just like in the Risen Star, he just had horses who were better. I got to believe Track Phantom probably hit the wall after all these starts. That would be my guess, but uh, real nice, solid close by Catching Freedom. And uh, Honor Marie was, was very solid as well. And uh, out of this race, I think those two are definitely going to be moving up on our top 20. There's no question about it. So let's take a look at the race and see how the uh, contestants graded out. Uh, triple Espresso Scratch, so that's an incomplete. Um, Hall of Fame, I think, it's just too early for this horse. Uh, that that he, he just had no excuses. He saved all the ground and just didn't have anything in the tank. And um, I, you know, the, it just reaffirms to me that it, it's awful tough to take these horses who win these big maiden races and then throw them into graded stakes. And so many times they disappoint. Uh, I think that you'd have to upgrade Tuscan Gold for that same reason because he kind of did the same thing and was able to run a really solid race. But uh, Hall of Fame was a big disappointment. Uh, I didn't expect him to do much in this race, and um, I'm sorry to say that because I think he's got potential. Certainly being a gun runner later on, he, he may show something, but for now he gets a D, and I wouldn't expect to see him um, I mean, I, don't, I think he's run out of time, and I don't think he's a derby horse right now. Antiquarian did really broke out of the gate, and uh, he gets an F for that. Um, he's probably going to be a good horse later on, running at longer distances, but uh, for now, uh, he didn't show anything to me, and so he's a, he's a quick F. Uh, Agate Road ran his race, and it wasn't nearly good enough. Uh, you saw that he closed... Uh, Actually, he was closer to the rail and had more of an inside path than Catching Freedom or Honor Marie and still was flattening out in a stretch. So uh, I'd have to say that uh, first of the, the first thing to note from that is that the Sam F. Davis really maybe wasn't so good a race. And secondly, that Agate Road, you know, it's Mike Rapoli throwing him against the wall and see what sticks and just trying to get a horse in the Derby. And uh, I wasn't high on Agate Road, and I'm still not, I'm even more down on him now. So he gets a C-. minus. He ran, in a, ran his race. It just wasn't good enough. Obviously, Catching Freedom gets an A. Uh, they solved the maturity issues uh, for this race anyway. Uh, he ran very professionally, showed a big kick, and showed a move forward uh, that I wasn't necessarily sure that he was going to. So he ran a big race. Um, and he looks awful good at closing into moderate fractions from all the way in the back. I think it shows how much horse they really have with this one. And uh, I'm looking forward to seeing him in the Derby. Awesome Ruta, you know, 
didn't like beforehand, wasn't good enough, and validated, gets an F. Anna Marie gets an A- minus because... Uh, I thought he ran as equally a good a race as Catching Freedom did, if you consider, uh, coming from the back just like Catching Freedom. And uh, his second start of the year uh, closed well, took a move forward. And, you know, it third off the layoff going into the Derby, he might be one to watch, but uh, I think he looked awful good to me. Uh, next level, you know, was was in the in the mix for a little while. Again, saved ground and still couldn't build on it. So that's not a derby horse. Real men violin, same thing. Uh, just a big time disappointment. Uh, did just didn't do, didn't move forward off the bench at all. Um, the fractions were slow, and he couldn't really muster anything. Uh, so I don't like this horse at all, and I don't think we'll have to deal with him again on the Derby Trail. So uh, he's. He's a pass. Uh, Common Defense, I thought, conversely, was pretty good. Uh, You know, rated well, uh, kept on pretty well against Track Phantom, and maybe the reason uh, that Track Phantom um, couldn't quite settle as easily as he had before. Um, And uh, so Common Defense, I think, probably improved off of his rebel stakes, but he just clearly shows he's not good enough because he didn't have anything in the tank coming late, and there really was no excuse for him uh, not to have some kicks. So maybe down the road this will be a better horse, but right now I don't think so. Tuscan Gold, B+, plus, uh, and I'm actually tempted to move that up to an A-, minus if you consider uh, he did a couple of really solid things. He definitely took a move forward in a graded stakes at a mile and three sixteenths. He broke better. He was uh, engaged closer to the pace, which we thought might be possible and that he would have to do to factor in this race. And he closed well. And uh, I think this horse has got a lot of potential in Chad Brown's hands uh, in the Derby. You know, who knows? But uh, the fact that I think he's closer to the pace really intrigues me about him. And uh, uh, I, I really thought that was an outstanding effort. And he might be a sleeper going into the Derby, mainly because he's closer to the pace. When you consider the more prominent horses that we're looking at are all late runners, uh, something to think about. We'll take a look when we deep dive deeper later on. Track Phantom, I'll give a B-. minus. He ran his race. Uh, I just have a feeling you probably hit the wall after running all those races. Maybe a mile and three sixteenths was a little too far. But, you know, he kept on for fourth. <laughs> Excuse me. He just ran into a couple of horses who were primed and ready to run big races. Um, and uh, uh, I don't think, you know, I, I thought it was an OK race. I'm not going to say he ran a complete dud because he did what he does. And he still got fourth. He just doesn't have the uh, the type of kick that's going to beat horses like uh, Catching Freedom or uh, Sierra Leone. But I thought it was a solid effort. And um, we'll see if he can, uh, with a little time off, maybe he can rejuvenate, maybe uh, can run a little better in the Derby. And again, without a lot of front runners in this year's Derby, right now anyway, uh, maybe he's one you still want to keep in the mix, but not ready to completely give up on Track Phantom after that one. Uh, I didn't. I thought it was probably about the race you'd expect from him. It's just Catching Freedom and uh, Honor Marie in particular, as well as Tuscan Gold. They were just better, and they were horses who took a move forward. And I don't necessarily think Track Phantom did. I think he more uh, plateaued. So uh, Catching Freedom, definitely the star of the race, but Anna Marie equally as good, in my opinion, uh, just a hair below because he finished second. But uh, those are the two I'm really interested in going into the Derby.